Hi everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio and today we are going to discuss performance tips of React Native mobile application development. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how we can increase the performance of React Native mobile applications. As you know, React Native is adopting by a lot of companies and uh, every developer is trying to move to React Native but uh, in between uh, we are losing a performance of the app as you know uh, if we compare react native mobile application with the native uh, mobile application there is a 1920 difference uh, but if you don't focus on uh, uh, performance of the react native mobile application then it will be uh, somewhere around 18 to 20 to make it 18 to 19 i'm going to uh, give you some uh, tips performance tips so by following those tips, you can uh, improve your application performance. And uh, yeah, in this video, we are going to talk about all these tips. So if you haven't liked this channel, please do it. And if you haven't subscribed, then please hit the sub subscribe button. So let's get started now. Here is your first tip. Eliminate unnecessary stuff. When your app pages have slow display times, it is important to consider your uh, architecture of the mobile app and uh, remove unnecessary data and uh, the, uh, the tabs you have included or controls, the, nav the way of navigation and unnecessary animations you have added in your project so you can remove those. Only display items that are useful to the app user. Unnecessary feature can add fractions of second in your uh, app performance and that will affect your uh, experience of your app. Your second uh, tip to improve uh, React Native mobile application performance is avoid memory leaks. As you know in Android devices extra processes running in the background can lead to memory leakage in your application. So please avoid those uh, background stuff or you can say extra processes in background. And to stop the memory leaks, uh, avoid using a list view. As you know, in React Native, list view is deprecated by React Native. So instead of list view, try to use flat list or section list. So it will boost your uh, application performance. That's your second tip. In third tip, uh, reduce your application size. Reducing the size of your application can improve its performance. But now you will ask uh, how we can reduce the application size. Most JavaScript applications require the use of native components and third party libraries. You can also packages, npm packages and other things which increase the size of application. So to reduce that size, use only necessary component of Optimize your use of those components and uh, you can also use a ProGuard or reduce the size of your graphics and like be 100% sure when you are picking any packages so uh, just uh, uh, go through from their packages or library documentation and uh, try to reduce your application size you just uh, remove uh, unnecessary uh, graphics and uh, packages or uh, library you have used in your uh, mobile application code. Fourth tip will be uh, reduce load on the bridge. As you know in React Native, the JavaScript side of the application interconnects with the native side of the application using a bridge. In order to ensure better performance, you have to lessen the bridge. So uh, the communication between both will be improved. So this can be done by searching uh, so your dependability on um, the library you have used in your in your code and uh, sometimes some libraries pass uh, heavy data to the native side using this bridge and it uh, affect the performance of the application so be 100 percent sure when you are using any library and uh, avoid the act of moving components on the main thread because of their heavy use of messages message queue uh, to connect with the native side Next tip is JSON conversion. So in mobile applications, we are uh, most of the times we fetch the data from the server and display the data uh, in our mobile apps. This data will this most of the times this data is in a JSON form. So this uh, retrieved data come back in a form of JSON. Unfortunately, in JavaScript application, 
JSON data is retrieved very slowly. To avoid this slowdown, uh, we need to simplify the JSON data. Sometimes we have a complex data, but most of the times, if you want to improve your mobile application's performance, then you have to uh, you ask you need to ask your backend developer to uh, to return a simplified data. Don't make it too complex. And by doing this, we can improve our uh, mobile application performance. Tip number six: Improve app launch time. If your app is not launched within a few microseconds, then 99% chances you will lose your cust end customer forever. So you have to work on a points that affect your app launch time. Sometimes object finalized come up with error messages such as you have insufficient memory and it closed the app or crashed the app. So uh, avoid using the element object.finalize to avoid slower launch times and boost the app performance by doing this uh, your app uh, launch time will be improved and your app performance also improve so this was the sixth tip for you seventh tip will be screen orientation so in order to improve performance of react native app you have to improve screen orientation as well most of the times you have noticed that after you have launched your app there are complaints from the end users that the app get crashed if they change the screen orientation it means they are changing orientation from portrait to uh, landscape or landscape to portrait. So now to avoid this situation for your React Native app, you can use a React Navigation for the Android devices. The package React Navi Native Navigation, but it will it won't work on um, iOS uh, devices. To optimize the iOS screen orientations, uh, you can go with the app's root view. Next tip is one thread at a time. So you should focus on a single thread. So this is a very, uh, this is again a very important tip to improve the, uh, to improve the React Native uh, mobile application pro, uh, performance. A challenge with React Native framework is that it only allow you to render one thread at a time. This means you cannot execute multiple tasks uh, together. For example, if you want to implement live chat and live video simultaneously, then you cannot do that. Here, one task has to wait until the previous task is completed as it can result in serving only one function efficiently at a time. So you should keep in mind that you need to use only one thread at a time. Number nine is correct use of images. In React Native, if you're using uh, images in an um, efficient way, then you are improving your app performance. Uh, the images uh, consume a large portion of your total uh, app size. so to optimize the image is very good deal for your application side by reducing the size of your graphics you can uh, you will re uh, reduce the size of application and uh, definitely you will increase your app performance as well another challenge with the app performance due to image in the is the image caching and sometimes uh, um, it's cache too much and uh, uh, your app performance uh, got affected due to that uh, the best way to get the images of the app app screens designed in the format in the right format such as a png or web webp though uh, these changes will take very lesser time but uh, it will increase your app performance tip number 10 last but not the least avoid unnecessary re-rendering do your component actually need re-rendering again and again you have to find the answer of this uh, question because in React Native application or React JS, if your app is uh, uh, your component is re-rendering again and again, then definitely it's impacting on your uh, app performance. So to avoid this, you can use a should component update uh, method from a component lifecycle. But uh, if you don't want to handle it manually, then you can also use a uh, pure component uh, uh, as well. So you can make a, your component as a pure component. But as you know. Uh, uh, using a react hook so we are using a functional component as well so uh, in order to use a like inside a uh, if you're using a functional component and uh, using a react hooks then you can use a uh, memo react.memo so basically it's work as a same as a pure component uh, in a functional component i have a made a video on it as well so i'll provide a link here so you can check it out so this is all about uh, 
performance tips to improve react native application performance and thank you for watching you guys are awesome please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel